U.S. prepares sanctions against Chinese banks for assisting Russia in war. The United States is developing sanctions that would cut off certain Chinese banks from the global financial system. Washington hopes this move will halt Beijing's financial support of Russian military production, according to the Wall Street Journal. China had heeded warnings from the West not to send weapons to Russia since the beginning of the conflict. However, after last year's visit by Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Beijing, Chinese exports of commercial goods with military applications to Russia sharply increased. As China is now the main supplier of schematics, aircraft parts, machinery and tools, U.S. officials say Beijing's assistance has allowed Moscow to rebuild its military-industrial complex. Blinken is visiting China this week, and the question is whether this significant financial threat can affect Sino-Russian trade. Last week, Blinken criticized China's support for the Russian military industry, stating that Beijing had made a significant contribution to Moscow's war against Ukraine by supplying critically important components for armaments, the publication writes. In recent weeks, U.S. officials have intensified pressure on China, warning that Washington is ready to take action against Chinese financial institutions facilitating the trade of items with both commercial and military applications. Beijing has provided diplomatic and economic support to Russia since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Trade between the two countries has surged and Moscow has circumvented Western sanctions with the help of Beijing. Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Moscow and met with Vladimir Putin after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for the Russian president last year for the abduction of Ukrainian children. Russians may step up attacks using time before U.S. aid arrives for Ukraine. ISW warns experts from the Institute for the Study of War ISW suggest that the Russians may intensify their attacks using a window before the arrival of new U.S. security assistance to Ukraine. Recall on the 20th of April, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a supplemental appropriations bill that would provide about 60 billion U.S. dollars in aid to Ukraine. The bill now needs to be approved by the Senate and signed by the President before the aid can be delivered. These requirements, as well as the logistics of getting U.S. aid to the front line in Ukraine, are likely to mean that the aid will not start to have an impact on the battlefield for several weeks. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new U.S. aid, the report says. The analysts note that Ukrainian forces may suffer additional setbacks in the coming weeks as they await U.S. security assistance to allow Ukraine to stabilize the front. However, the Ukrainian troops are likely to be able to halt the current Russian offensive if renewed U.S. aid arrives quickly. The report adds, the threat of an operationally significant Russian advance in the coming weeks remains, although the Ukrainian command may have more latitude to take short-term risks with dwindling supplies to prevent such an advance once it knows that more material will be arriving soon. Experts suggest that the Russians are likely to intensify offensive operations and missile and drone strikes in the coming weeks to take advantage of the closing window due to Ukrainian material constraints. In addition, Russian troops are continuing and in some areas have intensified offensive operations likely to take advantage of abnormally dry spring conditions and the ongoing shortage of Ukrainian supplies before the arrival of promised Western security assistance. At the same time, experts point out that Russian troops have achieved only tactical successes over the past six months of a deteriorating situation in Ukraine and are likely to achieve a breakthrough that would make the front line collapse.